Aloha everyone and this is Julie from Hawaiian Beach Walk. I hope you're having a great day today. I just wanted to share with you um, a quick project that um, I decided to make a little treat bag for Halloween. And I had seen this by another demonstrator and I hadn't, um, I'm sorry I don't know her name, but it was this great idea about using circle punches. You'll see I have three different punches here. So what I have um, is the one and a quarter and I have a one inch and a, a half inch. So I think you know you can use just um, three different sizes that you may have in your um, craft stash. But anyways, she used this to make candy corn. So what she did is she glued it all together and then she cut this. And so I just thought this was an awesome idea. And I did this ahead of time just because I wanted to um, make sure the glue was dry so when I'm doing the video for you folks it would um let's see so it would not fall apart okay so anyway so isn't this cool I just love this and I have to tell you I thought of my sister when I was doing this because she loves candy corn let's see here we go Anyways, I just thought this was a great idea. So then I thought, okay, well, you know what? If I'm going to do this, then I need to make something to put it on, right? So then I came up with an idea to make a little treat bag. But this one's going to be a little bit different because what I'm doing is um, I found as I was making it, it really works best like a gift card holder. And so um, I have lots of family. Uh, on the mainland. So I thought, oh, this would be a cute idea to send for our little Halloween treat. So anyway, so there's our little candy corn we're going to use. Let me put this off to the side a little bit. And the stamp set that um, I used was uh, the Sweet Home, which was the trick or treat that I used and the little ghost. And so I'm going to decorate this with some of the candy corn. So we're going to put that on there in just a moment. Okay, so I'm going to tell you exactly how I did this. So for the treat bag, I did um, a black piece and I cut it uh, six by five and a half and then um, going the, what I call landscape, so this would be six inches going this way, I scored it at a half inch and uh, three quarters, I'm sorry, three and a quarter of an inch. So I scored here and here, okay? And then when I turn it the portrait, then I scored it at a half inch. So this is this little tab here. Then I went ahead and I cut um, this bottom piece out as such. And I put my, I use tear and tape for this because every time I'm using like maybe um, I'm making a bag or a box that I know is going to be used a lot. I use my tear and tape. You can use also your multi-purpose glue, um, but I thought this might be a little bit neater. So anyway, so I have my tape here. I'm going to take this off and close this over. Okay. Now the top part here, I just kind of freehanded cut this a little bit because you don't have to. After I finished how I was going to do the topping, I really didn't have to do that. But I didn't want it just a straight across, so that's why I did that. Or if you have some fancy edge punch or die, you can use that. And then I put the flap on the outside. And the reason I did this is um, I was watching another uh, demonstrator. And she was saying, you know, if you put your flap inside, sometimes what you're trying to put in might catch on it. So that's why I have it on the outside. All right. So then I decided to, we're going to make this here. Now this piece here is... Um, three and a quarter by two and a quarter. Okay, and then so I just stamped it with the ghost and the trick or treat here. So let's add, I'm gonna figure out the layout on this. I'm gonna add these candy corn. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do though, because how that white kind of gets lost there. See we have we improvise. This is what happens as I'm as I'm creating. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sponge a little bit of yellow on there um, to give a little bit a uh, contrast <clears throat> and then that way that white is going to show up a little bit better on the uh, on the candy corn so I'm going to grab one of my daubers and I'm just going to grab some ink real quick here I'm going to grab um, daffodil delight okay I need a little piece 
piece of scrap paper if I can find some here. here we go and I think I'm just gonna go like this with my yellow when you do your daubers um, you'll see like here because I went down with it really quick if after you put it into your ink and just kind of gently put it down you can kind of eliminate a little bit that um, a little bit of that spots like just circle spots okay so put that on the side so now I think our white yes will show up a little bit better so they always say you need to have odd numbers um, so we're gonna put five on here okay let's see that seems a little bit heavy and let's see what about you gotta play with it right so it just like looks, looks I think that's probably better okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to just glue these down uh, this I am using my multi-purpose glue okay I really do like using the multi-purpose glue it gives me a little bit of a leeway to move around things once I put it down but also too you have to be careful because um, the glue does dry clear however it does have um, a little bit of shininess to it so you can see you won't see white but you will see a little bit of clear so I am careful um, because I try not to make sure that I you know you don't see any of that glue oozing out anywhere so I don't put it on too heavy I put it on pretty light actually And these bottles, after you get used to the touch of it, um, you can really control how much glue comes out. You know, so you can see I don't have like a big glob there, right? It's just a little bit. Okay. All right, so there we go. I just love these candy corn, they're so cute. Okay, so anyways, we're going to put this like about right there, I think. I like that. Okay. There we go. Now let's see, I need to make our happy Halloween greeting real quick. And let's use, okay, if I can find it here in a moment, here we go. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm gonna use this as a teeny tiny wishes. I've had this stamp set. I think this was like the one of the first stamp sets like I placed seriously with my original order. Um, so I've had this for over, for about five and a half years, I'd say now. Um, anyway, so this one has a Happy Halloween uh, stamp with it. I mean, they have all different kinds. It's the Happy Thanksgiving, Happy Graduation, Sweet Treats, Happy Father's Day, there's Happy Mother's Day, Happy Retirement, there's a Merry Christmas. Uh, this one says uh, Friend to Friend. I mean, really, this is an awesome set. I would definitely say this is well worth um, your money I think I've used this also in another um, another video that I did recently so uh, really it is a, um, a really good set okay so now I'm going to use my memento black and let's see if we have enough space here I'm out of a shot let's see Okay, there we go. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm just gonna cut this out. And you know, these pieces are just my scrap pieces. Um, I keep all my scraps because um, I make a lot of cards uh, because we do a cards of faith ministry and so um, we use all the little pieces <laughs> I think there's a on my blog one time I took a picture of all the boxes that I have of 
scraps. What I did is I used like um, a plastic, it looks like a plastic shoe box. And I, um, I have it separated by colors. So that's, that way it's easy for me to grab when I'm looking for a color. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on here like this. And then we can decorate with the last three candy corns that we have. Let's see here. Now, because this is orange and it gets kind of gets lost in there. Yeah, let's see. I think that'll work. Yeah, I think it'll work. Put it like that. Okay, so. Let me clear my, my workspace a little bit here. All right, and since this is a bigger one, I think I'm gonna put that one there. Something like that. Okay. Anyways, I just loved this idea when I saw this with the candy corn. I'm like, how simple is that? Right? Now, I love my dyes, uh, you know, all of my thinlet dyes and so forth, but every once in a while it's kind of nice not to have to bring out the big shot. So I, um, okay, so there we go. So now what I'm going to do is, um, you will see that I have underneath here, I have uh, tape already. And then what I have over here on the clip, this is what I'm gonna use here, is tape on this clip. So what you will do is we're gonna take this tape off, okay? And then we're going to center this like so. And then we're gonna tape that down, okay? Then we're gonna flip this up all right, and then we'll take off this tape, and then we're gonna put this down like that, okay? And then it'll work like this, okay? So, like I said, I found that um, as I was making this, I'm like, oh, you know what? This would be great for a little gift card. It also has room. You can stick like some treats in there and stuff like that, whatever you want to use it for. Um, but I thought, wow, I could put like a little gift card in there. And then here we go and then we'll center that and there you go there's your treat bag so anyway so I hope you like that uh, that project and like I said I really um, I, I just really love this candy corn idea I just thought oh my gosh that's really great and this sweet home stamp set is really awesome because it does give you a variety of things that you can do with it not only for Halloween it also has um, like a sign for Mary, and it has like the little candy treats, the house that you can make with the doors and the windows. It also has a coordinating die set with it also. So um, you can make the great little houses and you can use the pennants. So you can do it for many different things, for a birthday, for for Halloween, for Christmas, um, home sweet home, they have a stamp here. So maybe giving someone who just moved into a home or so forth. So this is a really versatile set. And like I said, it does have a Thinlets um, die set that also coordinates with it. Anyway, so I hope you like the project for today. And I hope you all have a uh, happy Halloween as we are in our October month and getting ready for the holidays. All right, take good care. Have a great day. Aloha.